Hello YouTube, welcome to the seventh episode of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajo. To all of you who keep watching, I would just like to say thank you for watching the series. I hope to continue this series for a very long time. It's been a super busy week in Hattrick. First off, we played a friendly against the main team and we managed to pull off some extra training once more by using uh, cup rules and the new guys did get some extra training let's just have a look see at the lineup here so Keck was uh, swapped with Otem and Danielson and Makado swapped in the 19th minute making sure that the new guys Danielson and Keck got some extra training so extra time in the friendly with the main team in Denmark let's have a look at the actual training results week and we had three pops Johnson Odom Navo Lurua and Makado all pop from solid to excellent winger skill so a very nice update in that regard and also Johnson Odom we got a little message from a winger scout in Uganda and he is certainly on the watch list for now so we will continue to see how that develops all right at the youth team we've been pretty busy we've played three games in four days let's have a look at the different matches and we'll go over what we actually trained during those matches right so the first of those three games was against Mlodziki Rafiki and looking at the goalkeeper we trained secondary goalkeeping because Enzo should be close to reaching his maximum goalkeeping skill and he's playing evaluation of six stars at this moment so it looks very good. Di Paoli 6.5 stars, Chiari 5.5 and Guidi 4 stars. Alright so in the second game being a friendly we changed things up a little bit and we tried to get some information about some defending skill on Bakioki, but unfortunately he got injured, injured after just 29 minutes of play so we only got 29 minutes worth of training and no idea about his defending skill um, and I'm looking at the opposite uh, lineup here we should be looking over here but there's no Bakioki to be seen we also trained um, some goal scoring for the main guys up front and for the next match we didn't field Bakioki so we could actually focus on something else so against the Fusurines we played with the three guys up front and then we tried to employ some winger training for the attackers to reveal some skills in and um, let's just have a look see about the winger skill indeed for those guys so Di Piaoli got his uh, potential in winger revealed and it's max weak. He might not be as big of a revelation as I thought being one of the original players coming with the team. Hopefully we might be able to max him and he might be worth a little something because the fact that he's quick. Giardi, we don't know much about his uh, max potential in, in the winger but he got some training at least and we know that he's weak for now. And um, Guidi has shown to be less interesting in the regard of uh, forward training but it could be that he might be able to do with some winger training so we're not really getting any wise on which way to go exactly but I think our main focus will be Rivers Giardi and actually to reveal some playmaking on this guy as soon as Enzo Bakioki is uh, developed completely alright let's see we have 18 youth players at the moment and that means we have to fire someone so all right let's find the young the sorry the oldest guy in the team Vittorio Morini it's time to say goodbye let's sack him all right and now for something much more interesting calling the scouts yeah, and I realize we still only have two scouts but soon we will change that and have three Pietro what have you got for us this week 16 years old Augusto Fanasca disastrous passing and his keeper skill, he may, he might well reach weak in that department. Are we giving him a place at the academy? No. We don't even have to think a second about that. Giorgio, give us something. I think we've spotted a future star here, to be honest. Alfredo 
Remorini. His winger capabilities are around inadequate level, and if it develops well, he could emerge with inadequate defending before joining the senior squad. So he's an inadequate winger at this point, 16 years old. We have to, to sign him, yeah? Um, let's see if he's actually close to 16 years old. Oh no, he's very old. Unlucky. The final thing to go over is the league game this week, and we played Aqua Viva UC, a bot team, and we won five goals to three. A very nice match. The only thing that was a little disturbing was the fact that they have they managed to score three goals against us, despite uh, the fact that they shouldn't really have a good chance to do so. So a little trouble, but we got a, our win, and we got our training done. No injuries or anything. So that's perfect. In the league, we have one game remaining, and we will probably end at 30 points as we stand now, because in the final match we play against the league leaders, the champions already, Gattineri FC, CCFC rather, and I don't expect us to do anything against these guys, because if we just have a quick look at their ratings, they perform quite more defensively than we do so we shouldn't have many chances there anyway so we'll probably finish third but we'll try to see if we can throw something in the in the machine a spanner into the machine or something against Gattineri uh, and maybe we can uh, actually overtake Chupke on the second place so that's probably how it's gonna end in this season for us I would like to know how it's been going for you guys are you guys on track to finish your season in a manner that you expected? Or are things going down the drain? Hopefully not. Anyway, I hope you have a great week in Hattrick. If you like the video, please like it and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care.